I had heard of Grayson, of course. Everyone had, leading up to those days before the fall of the London Tower. We all knew how it had begun. The night of the 15th of May, 1951. The night that James Grayson's life changed forever. Sakes, what is he? It's Why? his brother. Oh, Johnny. Oh, God, oh, not him. Get him out of here. Why? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Grayson, you know the rakes. You can't let him live. I know the rakes, damn it. His brother's death had sent Grayson over the edge. Grayson deserted his unit and went on a vendetta to destroy every Chimera conversion center he could find. Where the hell's your lieutenant? Where's Grayson? We don't know, sir. What do you mean you don't know? We can't find it him. It was his brother, sir. He found his brother. He just went crazy. He's gone. <sighs> Damn it. Follow me. I didn't meet Grayson personally until the trial, months after the fall of the Chimera Tower in London. Cartwright, as his commanding officer, had been called to testify. He became a hero to many. But desertion in time of war is a capital offence, and the law would make no exceptions. Grayson would have died in that prison, but for the intervention of an extraordinary woman your feet. The rats in here keep getting bigger and bigger. It's all right, Major. I can handle this. Right. We'll be just outside. Private Grayson. My name is Rain Bouchard. I'm with the Marquis. I know who you're with. I am here to request your assistance. The resistance. <sighs> the resistance. You swam all the way across the channel, did you? Here to beg for help. Our mission is top secret. How did you know about this? Word gets around. We take out the tower in London, you want help with yours. Where is it? Paris? Berlin? Paris. But I am sure you knew that as well. So why are you in here? Doing some last minute sightseeing before heading back to France. You, tell me. You want to know about the conversion centers? I told you, word gets around. How many centers have you destroyed? You want me to tell you everything I've seen? Everything I know before I stop seven or eight bullets in front of a firing squad. Is that it? No, actually. So you don't know everything. I am here to offer you a reprieve. Oh. So I get to be a grunt, working for the Marquis, taking orders from frogs and abroad. No thanks, sister. You'd rather die? Here? Executed by your own people? What happened to you, Grayson? I've read your file. So you lost your family. Look around. We've all lost family. Look. 
What do you want to know? All right, yeah. I burned down some of their shithole conversion centers. So what? They're done. The menials, the Greyjacks. Every damn one of them's gone. There's no more of us to replace them. The last center I burned out was already abandoned. The Chimera are dead. Wrong again. That is twice if you're counting. They're hardly dead. They're evolving. My father has spent several years working with the Marquis. Developing a serum. This serum that can stop the new conversion process. We are close, James. With your help. Your experience. I can get the materials we need to finish it. Oh. Tell Cartwright I want my brother's jacket back. At the time, we had no idea why his brother's jacket was so important to him. We had no idea how Bouchard convinced Grayson. But he agreed to work under the authority of the Marquis and became an integral part of Operation Overstrike. The plan was simple. Our intelligence corps agreed to send two squadrons to help the Marquis headquartered in Luxembourg. Stephen Cartwright, a major in the British Royal Marine Commandos, would lead the first squadron. I would lead the second squadron four hours later, but time was short. Over the past three years, the Chimera had been busy. Massive fortifications were being constructed all along the coastlines of Western Europe. Soon it would be impossible for anyone to get in or out. Our squadrons would use one of the few remaining open corridors through the Chimera defenses, a narrow strip over Rotterdam. Accompanied by the Marquis, our forces would cross Chimera lines into Luxembourg and then on to Paris. But we discovered too late that the Marquis were wrong. Bloody hell! Coming in hard! Rotterdam is crawling with Chimera! I left death row for this. Marquis Intelligence said Rotterdam was clear. That is anything but bloody clear. Mallory survived the jump and has established a rally point. He will have a plan to get us out. To hell with Mallory. The second squadron will be here in an hour. I'm gonna destroy that gun, and see they don't get the same welcome we got. Wait, you're injured. Here, use these. Chimera dropships scatter them everywhere for injured hybrids. But they work on humans as well. Over there, we can get down through the floor.
Here we go. Come on, let's move. On my way. Look out! I see them! Free to crawling. Stay back. Hey, it's one of yours down there. Move. On my way. How badly are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine, but Martin jumped with me. He broke his leg up there on the second floor. I need to reach him. Can you help me climb up there? We shouldn't let his weapon go to waste. Ahead. Get moving. Get moving. Watch out.
Are you coming with us? Rain! Thank God you're alive. Yeah, she's alive. Which I can't say about a lot of my friends dropping from the sky right now. Watch your tone, Private. You're in my army now. Yeah, right. I forgot. Your army, the Marquis, who just got first squadron shot to hell. Grayson, that's not fair. We didn't know- Don't explain yourself to the rank and file, Lieutenant. Come, gun towers have been spotted up and down the coastline. Your orders are to stay and secure this sector. That's a load of shit. Hands in the air. Just testing their reflexes. Pretty good. Way better than your intel, guys. <laughs> Bloody frog! Lieutenant Grayson, Major Cartwright asked me to find you. He needs your help, sir. You sure he asked for me? He must be in trouble. All right, let's go. We located a downed VTOL in a courtyard through here. Ah, uh, power's out. You have your field torch? Come on, let's move. Move up! Through here, Lieutenant. This is Grayson. We've got to take out those gun towers. Second Squadron is inbound. Reach the cargo compartment. Jansen, get down here on the double. Jansen! Jansen didn't make it, so you're stuck with me. Grayson, thank God. There are explosives on board that VTOL we can use to destroy those gun towers. Come down and help me reach them. Your exit is blocked. It's not one bloody thing, it's another. On my way to bail you out. 
Under fire! Cover me, Grayson! Go! I've got you covered! Take cover! Can't you run any faster, old man? It's clear. Go. Did it? Now come on out. Grayson and Cart ride together again. I never thought I'd see this. Well, desperate men do desperate things. Be tolls this way. Clear. 
Fire! Go! I need a leg up. Cargo compartment's up there. This was an ambush. I told you not to trust the McKee. Yes, it's amazing the convict didn't get a vote. It's enough plastic to blow those gun towers to high hell. Uh-oh. We've got company. Where the hell are you going? Major Cartwright, over here! Status report, Sergeant. We've located a gun tower entrance, but the sewers are heavily defended. It's suicide to go that way. Suicide mission? That's your speciality, Grayson. Or is it Forte now? Either way, I get to blow something up. Private, lead Grayson through the sewers. Sergeant, come with me. Yes, sir. Oh, I get the rookie. Survivors of the attack were scattered all over Rotterdam. Communication had broken down completely, not only between the squadrons, but between ground forces and British command back in Dover as well. For the first hours, military discipline was reduced to a struggle for survival. How far to the water intake facility? Few clicks, beyond some canals and warehouses. Chock full of hybrids, drones and leapers. I've never seen so many Chimera, Lieutenant. In case you didn't hear, it's private Grayson now. Now that's a load of guff, sir. Watch out for the bloody boilers. They get too close and their heads explode. Boilers? I don't follow. Never seen them, eh? But they're Chimera all right, but their plumbing's gone. Like a menial, except under their knickers. The boilers are gals, not that different from the white back home. Ugly as shite, and all you hear is constant whining. And if you ignore them, they come up and bloody go off on you. Ugh, oh, girls. 